The Abyssinian Baptist Church was established in 1808. It was founded as a result of racial segregation in the First Baptist Church located on Gold Street in Lower Manhattan. Several Ethiopian merchants visited the church to worship, and they were told that they had to sit in a segregated section of the church. Well, they refused because they did not understand segregation in the house of God and walked out. Several African Americans who were worshiping there, free African Americans in New York, saw that and walked out with them. And they got together and decided to establish a church where all people can worship. And they named it uh, for the uh, Ethiopians, the Abyssinians. They named it the Abyssinian Baptist Church. And since then, the church has been located in New York. Please join me in welcoming from the Abyssinian Baptist Church in Harlem, the Reverend Calvin Butts III. I'm delighted to have been given this opportunity to say a word of inspiration concerning the National Museum of African American History and Culture. African American. What is Africa to me? Copper sun or scarlet sea? Jungle star, jungle track, strong bronzed men or regal black? Women from whose loins I sprang when the birds of Eden sang one three centuries removed from the land his father loved spicy grove and cinnamon tree what is africa to me this may be the land of the pilgrim's pride but it's also the land where my mothers and fathers died so let freedom ring ring yes let freedom ring and america is becoming because so many brave women and men have fought to preserve the integrity of the land of the free and the home of the brave. Oh, beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife, Crispus Attucks. 200,000 sons of Ethiopia who gave their lives in order to hold the union together. Heroes proved in liberating strife who more than self their country loved and mercy more than light. Dory Miller, the 369th Harlem Hellfighters, and of course the Tuskegee Airmen, who more than sells their country loved and mercy more than life. America, America, may God thy gold refine. Shalom, salam alaikum, peace be unto you. God bless America. Now think about the remember your history. That's almost 60 years before the end of slavery in America. Here in Harlem. Here in Harlem, and they were founded by free Ethiopian sea merchants. But that is the source of the Nile. They had accepted Judaism in the time of King Solomon, and then they, um, uh, Christianity came to Ethiopia during the time of the apostles. So they have this rich uh, religious history. And so Abyssinia here, Abyssinian Church, Baptist Church, went back to Ethiopia as part of their pilgrimage, as part of their 200th anniversary to go back home. So take a look. something to offer Ethiopia. They have identified their greatest enemy as poverty. We have been very successful in Harlem. It may be a different country, but the basic concept is the same. And help them to fight poverty. Help them to build their nation. But we believe this is a quid pro quo. We will get something from them. I wanted to go back to the source of this church. 
the church means so much to me. And the fact that there were Ethiopian sailors who decided that they couldn't stand the treatment that they'd received and they were going to set up their own church. This is a very special journey for me. And it's not just a question of going as a participant, but to be able to partake in something that is historical, that will leave a legacy, is very humbling to me. One of the things that we have to learn in America, and that I'm trying to establish by this trip, is that we don't know it all. And I think as a result of our sharing back and forth, we will answer each other's problems. Ethiopia has Christianity. Ethiopia has Judaism. Ethiopia has Islam. The Ethiopian people understand the power of God. There's no reason why men and women can't live together in peace. That's why we've got to go back. all before they went. Tomorrow we'll talk about when they're actually there. Ethiopia, the source of the Nile River. Incredible. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was with them. It's also the one of the supposed places of the Ark of the Covenant. Incredible. It like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Absolutely. Thank you. And we went, to the, we went to the church. Oh, how cool. They keep it well guarded for the people who believe that it's there. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, Lauren Gray, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. uh, coming up, recall toys bearing charities under a